James argues, accurately, that there are differences between men and women. This is a strange position to be in, to be arguing for something that is so universally and widely accepted within biology. What is not as widely accepted is that culture is also evolutionary, but I'm gonna argue that biology and culture are both evolutionary. Let's look at differences between men and women that are explicitly anatomical and physiological. Are men taller than women on average? Does anyone take offense at that fact? <laughs> are you One, There's so, always a standout. <laughs> so I would say, you could be irritated by it. You could be irritated by the fact that women have to be the ones to gestate and lactate. You could be irritated by a lot of truths. But taking offense is a, is a response that is rejection of reality. So men and women are different on height. They're different on muscle mass. They're different on where fat is deposited on our bodies, right? Our brains are also different. So there. Security. Why not? This is this is what happens. Oh, did they shut off the volume? Can you hear? Can can everybody hear? Really? He's a piece of shit. That's not okay. Even the women in there have been brainwashed. Should not listen to fascism. It should not be tolerated in civil society. Nazis are not welcome in civil society. Fuck the police! Govern the people! Thank you. Woo. All right, well, we're going to raise our voices. The conversation's going to go on. Yes. Let let, let me be crystal clear. Let, let me be crystal clear. People do not have the right to tell you what you can and cannot listen to. People do not have the right, fringe elements of society do not have the right to hold you hostage to discourse. This is a university. If we cannot have this conversation here, we can't have it anywhere. We have to be able to talk about it. No issues will solve themselves. That sort of behavior is unacceptable. In